did you think that the laws were unfair back then? Very unfair. That I, the knew laws... I knew you were going to say yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Rightfully so. All right. It was unfair and you just didn't know why. You know, that was the whole thing. Why? I mean, now, I guess back then you just, you accepted it. I mean, it's nothing you can do because... It was just unfair. It's, I don't know. It's hard to explain. No, I mean, I understand it. Having grown up in Madison, Georgia, a lot of my life, I mean, we had a segregated prom. But it was it was the way it was. And it was choice on both sides. It was not a, a slam. Do you know what I'm saying? Against anybody. Anybody, right. And it had been that way for 50 years, and it took two classes beyond my graduating class to change it. And it has been changed ever since, and should have been way before then. But I totally get, I mean, we didn't know that it, I mean, right. it, it, it just it, was. It, right, it just was, and no, no reason behind it, mm -mm. it's just like it used to be. Like somebody say, I'm going to still do my job because that's the way we always have done it. That's right. And that's not how it was. And it's like stepping back in time in Madison. <laughs> Things are better now, but they're not like they are in Atlanta. Right. I mean, I think you'd probably go, I think Martha's had some experiences in South Carolina. It's just as, you know, yeah. it's a little bit, not a little bit, it's a lot backwards. Right. <laughs> Why yes. Say, hey, hey, that's the simplest form that people can fall into. Yes. Hey, hey, why? And it's taught at home. Home, it's taught at home. So. And if, if they would teach history right, people would get out of this. I mean, there's so much history we're not taught. Oh, yes. On both sides. That, I, I totally agree. They make it up as they go almost, and they change it every time they, I turn around. I'm hearing something I've never heard before. Right. So where that come from? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's something new. <laughs> right. And then it's so like I work with a lot, a lot of young girls, um, Caucasian, and they, I listen to them, and I just tell them, why don't you all pick up a book and just start reading history? Yeah. So you will see how I feel, and then I like to understand how you feel, like they. Like one girl in the office said, well, if we didn't get you, if, if you all wasn't enslaved, you all would just be savages in Africa. Oh, my goodness. And I said, oh, my. and I couldn't get mad at her because that's what she believed and that's what she taught. And I just said, can you please just get away from get me? <laughs> Or, or listen to something that sounds um, halfway intelligent because right. that just sounds ridiculous. Yes. God. Yeah. Uh, you can't fix stupid. That's one no, thing that I've learned. <laughs> and, and, and I don't even try. I don't even argue. Cause I just feel that, you know, they just as ignorant as, I don't know, I mean... <laughs> can't fix stupid. No, and, and hopefully it's changing a little bit at a time, but it's going to take years and years to undo. Right. And, and it's not going to happen in my lifetime. My, no. So. Uh, are, Truman, it's up okay, to you. Yeah, yeah I, it's up to I'll you, be, Truman. <laughs> do, you ready with the next? Yeah. Um, okay. Go ahead. How old were you when Martin Luther King made the famous speech, I Have a Dream? I guess I have to say... Around 10, 10 or 11. Okay. Okay. And I didn't actually, I, we, um, I'm trying to see how did I hear about it. I think my mom really told me a lot about it. Then later on, I listened to the recordings. Right. But I was around 10, and we talked about it, what he was saying. And the next. And I was happy and hopeful that. 
that we can do the same thing as the white kids. I did. Said, I hope that comes to pass. You know, go to school with, with everybody. Can go to school, go to church, play in the playground, go to the swimming pools, stuff like that. Right. And do it together. And do it together. Because we all are, we the same. We the yes. same. Yes. So I guess that answer, you want to ask her the last yeah. one? Trim. He's writing. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I know when, it, when I first got the question, I said, oh, I wasn't, I was only 10. And then I had to start thinking how I did feel, how I was scared at certain point. But as long as I stayed in my neighborhood, to, because see, I didn't go to a segregated school. All the kids were black mm -hmm. in my school, at my church. I don't think I came in really contact unless we left the neighborhood. You know, when I started work, when I got older, of course, but right. the high school, well, the teachers were, were white, but then that's only when I got to high school. But you didn't want to leave your neighborhood. Because of no. the way that you were treated. So it right. was, uh, yeah. I Do you I understand that, Truman? Uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, you understand the way that she's telling you how she was being treated. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to go anywhere but her neighborhood mm -hmm. because of that. Okay, last so. question. Did the famous speech, I have a dream, change your life, slash way of thinking? Yes, because I wanted to be able to be with other kids other than just the black kids. I wanted the white kids, the brown kids, the yellow kids, everybody to be able to play together and get along together. Go to school, go to church, go to the swimming pool, not being stopped and harassed by the police and not to be scared. I just wanted unity. Everybody, I'm trying to speak like I felt when I was a kid. And I just wanted to be together with everyone. And feel safe. Safe and feel safe and not scared. And, and yeah. So. I wanted, I guess I wanted to leave her to be her life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I would like to have that too. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to show it to him, but I don't know if I can stand to watch it. It's so sugary, sweet, and ugh. <laughs> oh my goodness! So how do you spell together? T O G. E T H. E T H. E R. Uh, I know this is, I'm just terrible hand writing. It's all right. We'll fix it. <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's going to be right. scrap paper We'll soon. fix it. So. So. <sighs> you think you got everything? I know Martha told talked to you about coming to the class, and I know that may be a stretch. Hey, when, when is it? Because I, I would like it. What would I, I have? What would I do? She, the teacher said that you could come as early as 8.15. And you could come any day that, that would work for you. Except and for Monday. Except like, for this Monday. This Monday or next Friday. Okay. And what, what would I do? Well, I think they probably would ask you questions at, similar to this. And she, the teacher would probably want you to just describe what life was like then. And how different it was, how you couldn't do things like these kids today can walk around and do together. Um, you know, and how schools were not, you know, they didn't all go to school together and um, that kind of thing. She hasn't really told me what the, um, the questions will be. My father-in-law is going on Monday because and he, they lived in Memphis. Um, so I just, he, but they're having, they have absolutely, as far as I know, I don't think they've had anybody that is not white <laughs> sign up to speak, <laughs> which is to me is the wrong viewpoint. 
so, <laughs> to teach them. So, but she did say that we could Skype with you in the classroom. So that is an option. I don't know what Skype is. It's on the computer. Whatever. So we could what FaceTime or Skype what? with the iPad. So. Okay, I want to. One we could. Um, you got another question? No, I need to ask her because I didn't get to finish the first one. Well, I know, but we can go back and look at the video and answer it. Yeah. I'm videoing it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> It's on Heritage Drive in Oak Grove. It's at the old Heritage School off of, um, it's right, it's really near the um, Claremont and 85 exit on 85, well it's 85 South for me, 85 North, 85 South, whatever. Um, uh, near Claremont and Briarcliff. Have to Google it because me, okay. I don't, if it's not by my job, I don't know where it is. I understand. I can email you the address and you can Google it and think about it and tell okay. me. As she said, just for me to let her know if you could come and what worked for you and that she would work it out. Okay. Because I probably the best thing would be kind of out clear with my job and you give me the information okay. and what this, what, anytime when? Like, what's just, the in the next couple of weeks. They've been okay. studying this um, for a couple of weeks now. And it's like three or four. So Actually, she, no, it's like two years. I think they're ending the unit with trying to get people to come in and speak. To the, It's two classes that will combine to listen. No, I'm pretty sure they're so, ending the unit with um, so, the dressing up and... Okay, well, anything. okay, at the end, he's got to dress up like Martin Luther King. Well, I don't have... I don't, Not that day that you speak, well, but... Well, <laughs> I don't know what what's going on, but... He has to do a... a um, you could, I could either do... Just know whatever. Never anyway, mind. that's a different assignment, but that's at the end of the unit, too. Oh, okay. So. All right, yeah, just give me the information, and I'll uh, clear with my job, and, you know, we'll not clear with them, but just... Okay. When we, because we're doing a lot of transition, and I can... And you can tell me how long it's going to be. And, okay. You know. I can get all that information from the teacher. Okay. I would like to do so. that. I'll be nervous because I'm oh. nervous. But I'm just going to go and wait. It's wait, just, you'll oh. be perfect. You'll be perfect. It take me all out of my comfort zone, but I want to do this. Well, I, we're not learning if we're not out of our comfort right, zone. Right. Because I'm so. I, I was excited to do this. I said, what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do this. <laughs> Well, thank you. If you have me, I will be there. Well, thank you so much. What do you say, Truman? Thank you. Thank right, you, thank grand you. grand godmother. Thank you so much. Thank you, grand godmother. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. 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 I will send it to you tomorrow, Bye. okay? Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>